very 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 good evening friends this side rahul magan here as a group chief executive officer treasury consulting and also a venture capitalist as we speak treasury consulting is a multinational concern based about based india singapore hong kong and we have we are having many products our own hedge fund if you would, would like to have any information you can definitely whatsapp on my personal number which is plus 9198992429780 or you can whatsapp on our back office which is plus 9198184851255 everyone understand that i love research and i am a kind of person who used to spend most of my time in research whether this is on bloomberg it on reuters on google on various other platforms that offers the research material of course what is research research re search what is research re search which means you are re learning or you are unlearning what you already learned that is research in the last several days i am doing my consistent return consistent research on coronavirus and i would like to share my understanding about coronavirus in this video officially speaking or statistically speaking the world saw coronavirus somewhere december 2019 while medical many medical professionals claim that corona was in china since august 2019 but i cannot claim whether this statement is right statement or a wrong statement so i cannot claim that but officially or statistically speaking corona hitted the world somewhere december 2019 and from december 2019 to march 2020 it hitted the asia which includes india singapore thailand and different parts of the globe of course united states europe and all officially speaking it hits india somewhere march 2020 which is also termed as a first wave of corona in india the second wave of corona came somewhere april 2021 which is precisely around one year ahead than the first wave and now there are a lot of talks which are on the social media in fact you know the aims director and multiple senior people are coming into the public domain and saying that the third wave is inevitable some are saying around 6 to 8 weeks while uddhav thakre ji the honorable chief minister of mumbai he also warned about the third wave i think today one more chief minister of india warned about the third wave and there are many people now those who are giving a a well i had signal because the maturity level or the understanding level and the predictions about the corona is very much prevalent now in the people and of course i agree with the fact that when the corona first happened then no one was ready mentally financially infrastructure wise no country was ready ready for this as it it's a kind of it's it's something which has happened after 100 years you know and no country was ready for this so and now people are slowly slowly maturing like and all this like if i talk about us then we have an institution called cdc an institution who take a watch on all these facts the cdc director and and cdc himself giving a lot of information in the public domain when the corona first wave came in the world i'm not talking about india but i'm talking about the uh, as a globe right so don't treat this as as a specific to india it is specific to the whole globe right when i first speak about corona first wave you know december 2019 to march 2020 followed by lockdowns in multiple countries of the globe us india europe singapore thailand dubai and everywhere almost people were thinking that how businesses would survive but that at that point of time no one was talking about the credit risk because it was sensible because any business of the globe would have some sufficient capital or savings in the hand to withheld these black swan events we call this black swan because the probability of occurring these events are very small less than 1% and may or might not be to be honest but guys 
now corona is more or less prevalent and in the last four to five days i've been through google and thanks to alphabet inc google i read almost almost 100 articles of different doctors people medical professionals settled across the globe in singapore india and all those who are giving the information about the corona like i would like to summarize what i read number one as we speak the world health organization claims that around 80 plus countries of the globe are having the latest version which is or the latest variant which is called delta plus different articles suggest that it is 45 to 80 percent more transmittable than the earlier alpha version although i'm not a medical professional so i cannot claim whether the so-called ratio which is given in the article is a right ratio or this is a, a pessimist ratio or all i don't know to be honest Another scene which we are having is that as we speak, the World Health Organization confirmed that around 29 countries of the globe are having Lambda, you know, variant. I don't know what exactly is the difference between Lambda variant and Alpha and Delta Plus, although there are articles on the Google confirming this, but very technical articles to me confirming this is really tough because i don't have a very good understanding of medical science i am a finance professional you know that but there are few terms which i understood from google is that lambda is much more dangerous than delta plus as a layman i understood delta plus is more dangerous than alpha alpha beta gamma and lambda is more dangerous than delta plus Lest you understand. Third thing, around 99% of the current cases in UK, I repeat, 99% of the current cases in UK belongs to Delta Plus variant. UK was in lockdown for several months. We have many clients in UK and we used to teach them, you know, train them on Zoom, Microsoft Teams and various other requisite platforms. UK was in lockdown for three months and now UK again on the lockdown till July 19th and, and I'm sure that they would be extending this because every day they are registering around 11,000 cases, 11,000 cases and according to the articles in the public domain around 99% of these, you know, cases are Delta plus variant. According to the CDC, United States, few weeks ago, the total registered cases were around around 2% of the total registered cases were Delta variant and now this is more than 10%. Many articles claim more than 25% also. So I don't know who is having an updated information, whether this is 10% or this is 25%. But one thing is sure that both type of people are seriously enough to claim that, hey guys, it was 2%. Now it is at least five times, which is 10%. Lambda variable is, is, in, is around 29 countries as per World Health Organization. And it is prevalent very much prevalent in the Southern American part. How long it will take to reach to the Asian market? We need to wait. India recorded black fungus, green fungus, yellow fungus, white fungus. Madhya Pradesh, one of the states in India recorded the first case of green fungus. And uh, today I was reading that Punjab also recorded, Punjab now become the second state in the world, a uh, second state in India who recorded the green fungus. As we speak, there are thousands of black fungus cases we have in Maharashtra and different parts of India and doctors and the medical fraternity is trying very hard to cure them. And I hope the God will definitely help them. More importantly, and that is really a threatening news is that if this spreads more and the probability of spreading this many more, to be honest, 
there is an element of the credit risk that would prevail in the world in the world financial market now what the what the hell is credit risk i i don't think i need to tell you what the hell is credit risk because credit risk is the most powerful and the most potent risk we have in the world of finance like in mahabharata it is said that the pashupatastra basically a divine weapon of lord shiva is considered as the most potent and it can withheld the powers of any weapon including brahmastra brahmshira brahmkunda or any weapon in the world this is pashupatastra and it is said that arjuna was having pashupatastra which is given by lord shiva and thus we understand that arjuna was almost invincible except when he faced karna so credit risk is like pashupatastra credit risk can dent any economy of the globe so what i wanted to convey is that if this situation would continue to be what it is and the chances are more severe in nature because every passing day when i look at the google i get more information more clarity and unfortunately this clarity is going in the negative sense then the business across the globe and i'm not talking about india i'm talking about globe i repeat that the business across the globe will face a huge credit risk which means that the probability of surviving these business would reduce and specifically speaking three type of businesses which is aviation hospitality and real estate so the investors are required across the globe to be very careful while making positions in these sectors i'm not saying that all aviation companies will close all real estate companies will close all hus- all hospitality will close no not like that but in every sector there are weak companies there are strong companies and this is across the globe by the way even if you go to united states you will check that their real estate market banking right check banking united states goldman chp morgan one of the strongest banks in united states by united states across the globe but even in united states there are weak banks so guys everywhere in the world you have weak banks and you have strong banks since you have weak banks and strong banks similarly every sector having weak companies and strong companies as we speak the corona is spreading which means that the hospitality the real estate and the aviation sector is already in radar so even a very strong company in these sectors would eventually be turn out to be a weak company so investors are required or requested to be alert while investing because media we know that worldwide and specifically in india they will love giving predictions irrespective of knowing that this is wrong and from the last several days i'm watching hindi media and they are before the hotels buy this hotel buy this hotel buy this hotel hey guys look at the ground situation please this is what i wanted to convey more videos would be on the way but i would like to tell you that in the first wave officially speaking somewhere march 2020 across the globe there was no concern about the credit risk absolutely from march 2020 till december 2020 there was definitely not a concern about the credit risk because many business houses were having their capital their savings and by the way they 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 raised a huge amount of money as well to withheld the, these issues but now the story is little changing the ground reality is changing because first wave second wave third wave and to be honest and precise and to conclude this video i went through several articles on the google who even claimed the deadline of fourth wave fifth wave and sixth wave and if i'm not if i'm not incorrect then all these waves hit somewhere 2023 and 24 that is why i always say 
how come mr pop powell the federal reserve chair and my 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 me most loving person i really love mr powell how come mr powell is sure that he would be able to raise two times in 2023 look like mr powell not reading the cdc messages this is rahul from treasury consulting group you know my personal number which is plus 9198992429789 you know our back office number which is plus 9198184851555 have a great time ahead thank you